Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to uh, my virtual introduction to uh, the Department of Computer Science for our virtual University Day. Every journey, uh, even a virtual one, and perhaps even more than usual, a virtual one, needs a guide. And today I'm going to be your guide through our world, the world of the Department of Computer Science at Reykjavik University. I'm Luca Ceto, I'm the current chair of the Department of Computer Science. During these uh, coming few minutes, I will uh, have three messages for you. First of all, I will convince you, if there is any need to do so, that studying uh, a computer science-based degree uh, is going to be one of the best investments uh, you will ever make. Second, I will tell you why you should do so with us at Reykjavik University. And third, I will have a look at my crystal ball and I will try to predict uh, what your future will be like after uh, earning a degree with us. Let's fasten our seat belts and let's start our journey through the Department of Computer Science and Computer Science as a whole. The, uh, to put what I'm going to tell you in context, uh, let me uh, sort of have a look at uh, where we are now today. We live in uncertain times, and it seems very difficult to try and predict what your life, our life, will be like uh, tomorrow, let alone in the coming years. However, this is nothing new, actually. Sort of our lives have been uncertain all the time. In fact, as Petine and Niels Bohr famously said a while back, prediction is difficult, especially about the future. However, uh, let's take uh, perhaps a most, more positive spin on this uh, motto by Hein and, uh, and Bohr. As Alan Kay, a computer scientist, uh, uh, a very influential one at that, put it, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Now, Alan Kay knew what he was talking about. He is the guy who gave us the graphical user interfaces that today we all use on a variety of devices. He was also one of the uh, uh, pioneers of object-oriented programming, which is one of the most common programming paradigms that we have today, if not the most common. Now, what does it have to do with you? Well, that's part of my first message, the best way to predict your future, our future, the future of mankind, is actually to invent it. And studying a computer science degree is necessary to do so. Don't take my word. Look at uh, your life. Look at everything around you. Everything is a computer, including ourselves, even though we are programmed in biology. And understanding the computer science way of thinking will lead you towards the inventions of the futures that I cannot even imagine today. You will be working on things that today simply don't exist. So for me, the message that you should consider and the question that you should consider is not so much whether you should study a computer science-based degree, but rather whether you can afford at all not to do so. You should ask yourself, will I program the future or will I be programmed by those who will do so? You will become, by studying computer science, part of the solution to problems that today look unsolvable, insurmountable. The study of computer science will hone your creativity so that you will be able to face whatever challenges future life will bring us. And the marriage between human creativity and uh, the thinking apparatus that comes and the support that comes from computing device is really a match made in heaven, and you will be part of that heaven. Moreover, uh, more precisely, studying computer science will open endless career, op career opportunities for you. And not just in computer science, because computer science is actually everywhere. In fact, as a New York Times article said uh, a while back, 
All science is computer science. So no matter what science you plan to study, even human sciences, you will undo, end up doing computer science and using computer science techniques anyway. So why don't you start at the root, start com study computer science, get the know-how, and then apply to whatever else you may be interested in. There is something more. Computer science tools and techniques are everywhere the world over. Coming with uh, the equipment, with the knowledge that computer science gives you and will give you, opens the world to you. The world is a computer scientist's oyster. You will be able to work in Iceland or anywhere else in the world by using a degree that you get from uh, computer science subjects. Well, I hope I've convinced you that computer science is for you and it should be for you. The next thing I'm going to do is to convince you that you should study it with us if you're ever going to study in Iceland. Why? Because the Department of Computer Science at Reykjavik University and Reykjavik University as a whole are the home of computer science in Iceland. Our department is the largest, most research active, and most international department of computer science uh, in the country. At my latest count, we represent over 16 nationalities, which is not bad at all, given how relatively small we are. We have about 900 students, with a reasonable fraction of them being female students, and we are working towards increasing that. So if you are a female potential student listening to me right now, enroll and you will be working with around 30% female students, which is good. And we also have a number of, an increasing number of female professors. We graduate about 200 uh, computer scientists uh, every year. They go on to work everywhere in the world at all the companies whose products you use every day. That's about 75% of all the computer science graduates uh, in Iceland. So if you meet a computer scientist on the street in Iceland, most likely that person has studied with us. So what do we offer uh, in terms of education? We also have graduate studies, but I will focus on the bachelor studies since those are of interest to you at this moment in time. We offer three main study lines uh, at bachelor level. A classic computer science degree, both a diploma, two year, possibly with uh, work, a bachelor in computer science, a three year degree that paves the way to further studies and to challenging careers in industry. We offer a bachelor degree in software engineering and a bachelor degree on discrete mathematics and computer science that combines the computational way of thinking that comes with computer science with a very solid mathematical background. So if you like mathematics and computer science, you don't need to choose. You can have both the cake and eat it at the same time by following this degree. So you will become a master computational problem solver using mathematics combined with computer science. Software engineering is more uh, devoted to uh, all the principles and tools and techniques that goes into the, the development of software, computer scientists do that as well to a slightly lesser degree, and they learn more about the foundations of our subject and how it's evolving. But there is more. As I've told you, we are a very strong research department. This means that we collaborate with researchers the world over, and these researchers uh, uh, open opportunities, and this network opens opportunities for all our students to step into the big wide world already when they are studying with us. For instance, we offer internship opportunities both in Iceland and abroad. Let me take two examples. Abroad, we have uh, an internship program with the Fraunhofer Center for Experimental Software Engineering at the University of Maryland that takes about uh, 10 of our students a year. At the beginning, we started with two, but then they were so happy with our students we were, because we were sending them very good ones and they like Icelanders. So now they take about 10 and in fact, they would take even more uh, if they have enough projects. And our students going there, they've been working on projects with NASA, Mercedes-Benz, uh, the, the Food and Drug Administration in the US, 
biomedical uh, device apparatuses, you name it, all very interesting stuff. Close to home, for you, uh, we have an internship program with CCP Games, and then CCP is so happy with our students uh, that they often get hired by them afterwards. But that's not all. You don't have to go to an internship in order to collaborate with local or, in, or international industry. One of our uh, flagship uh, things uh, that we offer is a final project in collaboration with industry, and I let you read the names of all the local companies uh, that offer final projects to our students. And some of these final projects, again, then become job opportunities later on. We are not only the home of education in computer science in Iceland, we are also the home of research in computer science in Iceland. Now, you may ask yourself, okay, I'm starting a bachelor degree. Why should I care about research? Well, you should care for at least two reasons. First of all, remember, you're here to become ready to invent the future. In order to invent the future, you have to do new things. You have to do things that nobody has ever done before. And that's what research is all about. Working with people who have created new knowledge will be like having your Jedi masters next to you who will teach you how to create new knowledge yourselves. And in order to make it possible and easier, we offer something that we call undergraduate research opportunities. Basically, from day one of your studies, if you are keen to do so, you can embark on research embedded within one of our research centers. You can see the list of centers on the slides, but let me tell you roughly what they do. Kadia is the Icelandic center for the development of artificial intelligence technology. And I don't think I need to tell you how important artificial intelligence is today and how much it will play a role in our future developments. CRES is the Center for the Development and Engineering of Software Systems. That's what computer science is all about. Breathing software that is uh, life into devices that were deaf and dumb before. FinTech is the Center for Financial Technology, where uh, uh, computer science techniques like blockchain smart contracts can be uh, uh, applied to revolutionize sort of uh, the world of economics. ISTCS is the center for uh, foundational issues in computer science, what we call theoretical computer science, because every good, good practice, and computer science is, has plenty of good practice, is grounded on applicable and good theory. So if you like mathematically oriented uh, approaches to computer science, that's the center for you. And last but not least, the Language and Voice Lab sort of is working on turning Icelandic into a language which is digital in the sense that you will be able to speak Icelandic to your own digital devices. And for instance, the software that they, the tools they have developed power uh, uh, the daily work of Althingi, the Icelandic parliament, where uh, speeches are translated to text fully algorithmically. But that's only part of what they do. I've told you that uh, uh, we are the most research active computer science uh, in Iceland. Don't take my word. Of course, you should take my word, but if you don't want to do so, you can Google how good the people who work within the department are, uh, sort of see what their research output is. And even if that does not convince you, I encourage you to look at a document that was issued by uh, a, a, the Norwegian Research Council a few years back and the goal of that document was to uh, highlight sort of key potential partners in research for uh, Norwegian universities and in what key areas. Now, not surprisingly, given that all science is computer science, uh, uh, information and communication technologies were highlighted as one of the key areas in which Norwegian universities should cooperate with uh, uh, other universities abroad. And uh, perhaps more surprisingly, our department and Reykjavik University was mentioned together with uh, high-ranked institutions like the Massachusetts Institute of Technology as one of the key players that Norwegian universities should cooperate with. 
that's not too bad for a small reality like our department within a small country like Iceland. We are small, but the level of ambition is huge. So you will be learning to invent the future from people who are at the top of their game. It couldn't be better, if you ask me. Let's go back to the last part of my talk. It's about the future, your future. By working with us, learning from us, and teaching us, you will reframe your brain so that you can become a master in computational thinking. This is what your brain will look like uh, after training. You will be a master in the computational problem-solving skills that allow computer scientists to make models of very complicated realities, or building tools, algorithms for the analysis of those models, and predict the future. Reach certainty where uncertainty seems to reign supreme. And if you ask me, this will give you a huge competitive advantage over others who do not have those skills. So after training, you will become a black belt in computational problem solving. You will be able to wield the axes, the tools, and the techniques of computer science to solve problems that today seem unsurmountable. And these are problems on a global scale that we humans cannot hope to solve without the help of the machines. So it's not us against them, them being the machines, it's us with them. Now, computer science is a superpower, and that's why I put Wonder Woman on this slide. With great powers come great responsibility. So, as part of your training as a computer scientist, you will learn also how to use the superpowers that computer science gives you responsibly so that society can benefit. The Greeks and the Latins used to believe that the titan Atlas held the world on its shoulders. Well, take my word for it, it will be you, it will be computer scientists, who will lift the world in the future and make sure that the world is in a good shape. More precisely, your future might be like the future of uh, one of our former students uh, who is now working uh, at Google as a, a software engineer at Google Zurich. Or you may go on to further studies, uh, like another student who is now studying at ETH Zurich, one of the top universities in the world. There are many examples of both types of students that have studied with us and went on to do great things all over the world. For you, I have no idea what you will be doing, because perhaps the jobs that you will be taking up don't exist today. And actually, it's very likely that they don't exist today, because you will invent them together with your future. So instead of your picture, I put the picture of another computer scientist from Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear, you're going to embark on a journey to infinity and beyond. Let me summarize. I hope I convince you that uh, by joining the Department of Computer Science at Reykjavik University and by studying computer science, you will uh, join a group of very active researchers with strong connections with the international community who are leading educators, and a, a group of very strong and committed students that give the social environment within which we all work, because computer science is a very social activity. I think you will have a lot of fun in this scientific arena. Let me conclude by uh, turning into my alter ego, Jean-Luc Picard, captain of the SSS Enterprise uh, in Star Trek. You are the future. Let's invent it together. Make it so. Thank you very much.